What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this super awesome effect that J.R. Ollie recently did in one of his videos. So if you wanna learn, stick around, let's get into the video. If you are new here, my name is Jacob Scott and I make photography and filmmaking videos like this one every single week. So if that is something of interest to you, be sure to go down below and hit the subscribe button. Also, I'm currently doing a giveaway that will be ending once I hit 500 subscribers and that will be the first link in the description. So be sure to go check that out right after this video. It is for a $50 Adorama gift card. Now, what I'm going to be editing in today is Premiere Pro. You can do this in After Effects and I'm sure you could probably do this in Final Cut. I don't haven't really used Final Cut so I'm not positive. But the reason I'm doing this in Premiere Pro is one, I find that the workflow for this particular effect is actually a little bit easier in Premiere Pro. And two, most likely if you have Premiere Pro, you may not have After Effects, but most likely if you have After Effects, you are going to have Premiere Pro. So this is then makes it more available to most people out there. So let's jump into the computer right now. So here in Premiere Pro, let me go ahead and show you the clips that I have and explain how to go ahead and actually shoot these clips. So the first clip here, you're gonna see, it's just me falling back onto my bed. Make sure when you're shooting this, that you go past the bed. So if you see when I shoot here, the camera continues past the bed because that's gonna give us a reference later on where to actually mask and help it to look a lot better. Now with the second shot, you're gonna notice that this shot, I'm actually walking backwards and falling down gently. Keep that in mind, not responsible for anyone getting hurt in this, but make sure to do it on something actually semi-soft like sand, grass, something like that. Because it's a lot easier to sort of fall down gently than it is to push yourself up really quickly and have it look actually somewhat natural. So I just was walking backwards and sort of sat down semi-gently hardish. if that makes any sense. I don't really know what I'm saying. But, the major thing to keep in mind with this is when you go down, the camera needs to go really close to the ground. As you can see over here, it is really close to the ground. If you keep the camera up and just turn it, it's not gonna look right. You're not actually gonna be able to make this work well at all. So you need to, when you know, you're filming this and the person goes to fall, bring the camera down towards the ground. Now with that out of the way, what we're gonna start to do with this first clip is we are going to create a mask on this. So if we go to effects controls, go towards the end of the bed here, as you can see, there's the bottom of the bed. That's where we're gonna wanna mask. So we're gonna go over here, hit our pin tool, uh, zoom out just a little bit here, and create a mask right on the bottom of the bed. Now I'm going to go ahead, hit mask path keyframes here, and advance forward a frame but pretty much I'm just gonna follow the line of the bottom of the bed just like that. And we need to track this backwards a little bit. All right, so now that the mask is tracked, it's kind of hard to see it because underneath the bed it was dark anyways. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna feather this quite a bit. We're gonna bring it to right about there. So for me, it was about 275, 76. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna bring this clip underneath the edge of that second clip just a little bit. And as you can see, I'm still walking backwards. How do we fix that? We're gonna go ahead, right click this clip, go to speed duration, and we're gonna go negative 100%. And as you can see, that will fix that and I'll be now standing up. Now, as you can see, that mask is working. We need to bring this under a little bit more. It is working, it moves out of the way to reveal this clip. But what we need to do now is I need to actually, if you notice, I'm going left to right on this clip. This clip, I'm going right to left. I'm just gonna go to effects controls here and do uh, flip horizontal. So if you don't film these quite correct, you can go ahead and just flip the clips around right in Premiere Pro. So what I'm gonna do for the second clip is I'm going to go ahead and mask this, but I need to find something on the ground that I kind of can visually track so then it looks like it's actually coming out of the ground. So just like we kind of track the bed here, the edge line of the bed, what I'm gonna do is sort of track with a mask, this stick here and this one over here. Grab a free draw tool and we're going to set a mask for right here and right there. Now, as you see, when I close up that mask, it's on the wrong side. If that happens to you, go ahead and just hit the invert button and it'll fix that right up. Now, just like we did last time, 
mass path keyframes, turn them on, advance forward a few frames. Actually, I'm just gonna do this one frame by frame and set it so it's at the right spot each time. So just slowly moving this down on the ground so it looks like it's almost tracked to the ground. All right, so now if I play this back, you're gonna notice it looks like, sort of like it's tracked to the ground, not perfectly, but that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and feather this mask just like we did the last one. As you can see, that's what happens. Now it's just a matter of sliding this clip under the first clip, playing it back until it looks about right. We need to bring this back just a little bit. Now that's looking pretty close right there. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is this second clip, you may not need to do this, but this second clip, I did not have enough motion blur in this. I was filming outside and wasn't using an ND filter. So what I'm just gonna go do is grab directional blur, put it on this second clip, turn up blur length and direction, make it look like it's going about the right way. At the beginning of it, I'm just gonna turn on Right about there, turn on blur length keyframes. And when the camera starts to slow down, probably right about there, set it to 0%. That way it's just gonna give it a nice little motion blur at the beginning, seeing I didn't have that. But that is pretty much it right there. Now there's something to keep in mind is you really, really have to do some sound design on this or else it's not gonna look right at all. Sometimes what looks visually correct, it's actually lies quite a bit in what you're actually hearing. So if we go over to this other sequence here, you can see the sound effects that I was using. If we go ahead and solo this, there's that right there. Go ahead and solo the next one. This is just some outside ambient sound. Next one is some footsteps for when I stand up and start walking. The next one is a nice riser. I help, I feel like this helps tie it in a lot, especially like I said, those risers. And I have another riser. And finally, this sort of just base right here. Now from there, just go ahead, color grade your footage and maybe put a speed ramp on it if you feel that there needs to be a speed ramp when you start to stand up. But overall, I feel that that looks pretty good right there. That is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to go down below, hit that like and subscribe button. Like I said, I am doing a giveaway right now, so be sure to check out the first link in the description. Uh, other than that, I really don't know if there's anything else to say. If you did enjoy this video, like I said, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that goodness. I'll see you later.